Welcome to the webinar on storage monitoring with Op Manager. I'm Cyril and I'm going to be the presenter for this evening. Before we begin with, let us know if you can view and hear the webinar clearly by commenting on the chat panel below. We'll proceed after we get a few confirmations. Great, let's begin. Here is the gist of the webinar. First, we have an overview of the current scenario in enterprise storage, the need for storage monitoring and how it can improve your network's performance. Then, we are going to discuss in brief about Op Manager and its storage monitoring capabilities. We are also going to deal with some of the key features in this add-on. Finally, we are going to talk about how this add-on will be of great benefit to your enterprise. Let's get into the topic now. Did you know that the amount of data in the world doubles every year? Which is not a big surprise considering the rate at which our technology is developing. This being said, a lot of this data is from major enterprises. These enterprises handle a humongous amount of data either through their own storage networks or from third-party services. To serve this need, companies keep adapting multiple storage technologies from tape libraries, RAID storages, NAS or SAN networks to SSDs and so on, just to stay ahead of the competition. Having said that, dedicated storage does help a lot in safe data storage and access, in the sense that they reduce latency remarkably and provide increased security to your storage. However, on the flip side, statistics show that only 40% of data storage in these enterprises are being used which means that over half of this storage is being unexploited. It may seem insignificant, but in reality, it is a huge cost for the organization, especially for a facility that is not being used to its full potential. Therefore, when storage networks come into play, it is imperative that a proper storage monitoring setup is introduced to obtain the best possible performance from your storage infrastructure. Mismanaged storage, apart from including unwanted costs for unused space, also has another overlooked aspect, that 40% of the network being heavily used might constantly fail. This is another leading cause to an underperforming storage network. Another stat says that about 20 to 35% of operating cost is the price that an organization has to pay for poor data storage and management practices. More than the number itself, what's frustrating is that it could have been avoided with the management solution, which wouldn't have costed half as much as the price they pay. With all this being said, storage monitoring is not a walk in the park either. There are several huge setbacks for as to why many organizations are still hesitant about setting up storage monitoring and management. The first and foremost of them would be difference in storage media. In a corporate setup, there might be several storage media in use depending upon the purpose and the frequency of usage of that storage. Like for instance, data that has to be regularly accessed is stored in RAIDs or solid state drives. These are best for short-term storage, but when it comes to long-term storage options like backup, tape libraries are still being preferred. A network having both of these cannot be managed with a single monitoring tool, at least till now, and that added to the complexity of managing these devices. Another setback is the same scenario happening with different storage media, happens with different storage vendors too. Each vendor has its own tool to monitor their storage, and it may not necessarily be compatible with the other. So the admin ends up looking into multiple tools to manage a single storage network. The last and the most important setback is bottlenecks, where the capability of an entire network is limited by an underperforming component. Bottlenecks can be both physical, in the case of inadequate hardware, and virtual as in faulty config changes. Now that we've seen all of these, 
Let us get to know why storage monitoring is worth all this confusion. Primarily, you can reduce mismanagement in your storage network so that your network can perform better. Better performance would lead to reduced latency and in turn leads to better data retrieval speeds. Also, the chances for human intervention are thinned down with automated monitoring, leaving lesser chances for man-made errors or even errors altogether given the right configuration. Now all of these finally translate to better reliability on the network, which is ultimately what every organization wants. Now we get to the big question. Do you think it is possible to have a unified storage monitoring solution to manage and monitor all your network storages from a single pane? To stay updated about your network, what if all of this could happen to your network? It does sound great, right? Presenting to you the storage monitoring add-on for Op Manager. From now on, you can monitor and manage your storage devices with ease right there in your Op Manager console. Before we talk about the add-on, here's a small heads up for those of you folks who haven't heard about Op Manager. Op Manager is a comprehensive network management and monitoring solution. It integrates all aspects of network management, such as overall network monitoring, bandwidth management, firewall rule management, network configuration management, and IP address management, all from a single console. Op Manager monitors your network in real time, scans all your network devices constantly for any changes or issues, lets you set thresholds to keep your network in check, and also alerts you if something's wrong in your network. Why talk about Op Manager? Because Op Manager has an add-on entirely dedicated to storage management. It lets you view, manage, and monitor all your network storage devices at one go. Also, you can monitor important stats round the clock so that the performance of your network always stays at its best. The add-on monitors all major kinds of enterprise storage devices such as RAID arrays, tape libraries and also monitors FC switches in the case of a storage area network. These are the vendors supported by Op Manager for its storage monitoring add-on. As you can see, all of the major vendors like IBM, Dell, NetApp and Storage Tech are supported in this add-on. We're still working to improve the functionality of the add-on, so you can expect many more vendors to be added soon. So let's jump into the important part of this webinar, the features of this add-on. To begin with, Op Manager supports RAID and tape library management, two widely used storage solutions in the enterprise environment. You can monitor vital metrics of your storage device like latency, drive or disk count, read or write speeds, and IOPS efficiently. This is how the snapshot page of the device looks like. The snapshot page lists all the crucial details of the device in one pane. Everything that is of significance will be displayed here in this page. The stats are divided into groups such as basic device details, availability timeline, device info tab, CPU utilization tab, and so on. And this is the snapshot page of a RAID device. Also, there are tabs such as disk, LUN, and storage info to give you more data on that device. Another inherent feature from Op Manager in this add-on is the Graphs section, which can be accessed by clicking on the Graphs icon in the snapshot page of any device. The graphs show you the trend of a statistic or parameter over a period of time. And if you want to see the trend over a particular time, you can just select the area on the timeline and the focus of the graph will be shifted to the selected area. The next key feature is SAN switch management. 
In a storage area network, fabrics are individual layers of networks that are connected together by fiber channel switches, also called as FC switches. These switches handle tons of data every day. So one malfunctioning switch might mean doom for your entire network. Op Manager lets you seamlessly monitor all your SAN switches and gives you a clear picture on your device's stats such as latency, data loss, and throughput. Here you can see the SAN switch snapshot page. Here too, all the important details are condensed into a single pane, making it easy for the admin to manage everything about the device. This is the graphs section for the SAN switch. Here you can see certain physical parameters like fan speed, temperature being monitored and so on. You can even set alerts in Op Manager to notify you when any of these are not within the normal range. Next is an important feature in the add-on called Storage Capacity Forecasting. This feature would allow you to predict how long your storage would last before it runs out of space. Op Manager analyzes the current usage rate and growth trend in the device and does an approximation of how long the storage would last before it runs out. This algorithm provides three predictions on when your storage would reach 80%, 90%, and 100% of your storage capacity. So this is how the feature would look in the product. As you can see, there are three prediction fields as to when the storage would reach the 80%, 90%, and 100% capacity marks. This feature is really useful to plan your storage needs well ahead of time. Next comes the storage dependency view. As we all know, storage devices might contain several virtual disks in them and it's impossible to manage them without a proper VM management tool. But even then, it might be difficult to find which virtual machine is dependent on which storage. That is why the add-on has a feature called the storage dependency view in the snapshot page of every device. It tells you about the devices that are dependent on this storage and which will be affected when the storage device has issues. Performance Monitors is another device-based generic feature. With this feature, you can monitor specific parameters in a device and Op Manager can trigger alerts when they go past the safety thresholds set. The Performance Monitors can be set based on various parameters and also for multiple conditions. You can also set alerts for when the set parameter crosses a certain threshold. There are three threshold values to set three different kinds of alarms. Attention, when the issue is minor but it is of significance to the network. Trouble, when the issue isn't minor anymore and it can be a potential outage. Critical, when the issue is already affecting the network on a large scale. This is the window to configure the performance monitor for the device's temperature. As mentioned before, you can see the different thresholds here, attention, trouble, and critical. You can also see a fourth field called rearm. The rearm threshold tells Op Manager 
when to reset the alarm after it has been triggered. For example, when the three threshold values are 60, 75 and 80 degrees respectively and you want the alarm to be reset when the temperature drops below 50 degrees, you should set the rearm value to 50. The last but the most important feature is reporting. Op Manager has intuitive reports under its wings and this support is also extended for storage monitoring. Op Manager now gets a separate storage section under the reports window. You can analyze trends over a period of time with this handy feature. Here are the various storage based reports available under Op Manager. To name a few, that is the storage summary report, which gives you an overall view about your storage network. Capacity utilization, which gives you the condensed view of how much storage is being used in each storage device. Latency, to understand network issues in your storage and to optimize it. Disk IOPS, which corresponds to a disk's operational speed and read writes per second, which corresponds to the disk's physical read or write limits. These are the various reports available under the storage reports section. Apart from this, you can also create custom reports based on four key reporting categories. Performance reports, availability reports, response time and packet loss reports, and inventory reports. To end my part of the session, I have a few use cases where the storage monitoring add-on could be of help to you. Now let's get into the scenario. This is Jack and Jack is a storage admin in a large multinational organization. He has planned a week-long vacation but he is hesitant to go because there is a major backup scheduled midweek. Do you think he'd be able to get out of this situation? Yes, he can. He simply logs into Op Manager and checks out the storage forecast for his devices. And he finds out that the storage space will surely run out in a couple of days. He then arranges for additional storage disks, installs them in the network and goes out on his vacation. Op Manager saves the day. Let's look at another scenario. This is Jim. Jim is a network admin. He gets yelled at by his superior because their storage networks have been going haywire and the backups have been triggering errors all along. Jim then logs into reports in Op Manager and views the storage summary report. He then finds his switch is defective since only 8 ports are active in his switch instead of the actual 12. The switch is replaced and the storage network starts to work just fine. Once again, Op Manager saves the day. Similarly, there are countless ways in which Op Manager and its storage monitoring add-on can greatly improve the quality and performance of your network. All this being said, you would wish to know more about the pricing scheme of the add-on. Op Manager follows a disk-based pricing system for this add-on, and this is advantageous to element-based or sensor-based licensing because you can monitor all metrics of a single disk with one license instead of having to purchase a license for each metric in a disk. The pricing scheme of the add-on starts from 10 disks and extends up to 5,000 disks to provide the users both affordability and scalability in the long run. If you have any more doubts, feel free to contact us at the displayed email. Thanks again for joining this session.